Solar power brought to you by the sun. So here we are inside my work trailer. Yep. And I've got solar power. Yay. So this might look like Frankenstein and it kind of is because yeah, who wants a work trailer to look pretty? I mean, come on. All right. So let's go over some of the features of this thing so that you yourself can set this little thing up in your work trailer and get some good old sun power. So right here we've got the solar charge controller. See it's even got words across it so that I don't forget what it's called. Alright now it has a build-in timer so you know it's not from America. Now this little puppy will set you back like $25. I'm not really certain. Anyways we've got Negative coming in from the solar panel, which is mounted up here on the roof. The roof, not the ceiling. It's right outside. And then we've got positive coming in Oop, right here. So positive coming in, going through a little car battery fuse. You can buy these just like they are and plug in whatever size fuse you need. So positive comes in, negative comes into the charge controller. Then from the battery, we've got positive coming down here. Positive coming down here to the battery on the positive terminal, obviously, and negative coming over here and coming down to the negative side of the terminal. Now, that's just for the setup of getting power to your battery, and you can see up here it shows the voltage. Now, the other thing we've got going on is an additional power source coming off of here, which is this right here, positive and negative. Now, this allows you to connect something else to the system uh, that runs off of 12 volt, because that's what the system is. It's a 12 volt system. You can see right here, 12 volt, 35 amp hour battery. So, uh, what I have hooked up to it is a light. Now, that is a light indicator right there. You can turn it on or off via this little button. You see I've got on, so now power is traveling through this circuit. So we've got same thing, negative and positive, and that's coming down, flowing through, going up behind here, coming on over, and going to a little toggle switch. Uh, that's just, you'd find for like a dashboard. And that's my little switch right there to turn on this light, which is an LED light, 12 volt LED light. So basically I've just got 12 volt power going wherever I need it to. And you can hook up kind of anything that will run off of 12 volts. Um, yeah, it's just made for that kind of circuit. So this is really great when I come in here at nighttime and I'm not plugged in. I can just flick this on and I got light throughout here. All right. So that is a very basic charge controller. It's got USB. So like uh, this little USB cord right here plugs in, which it looks like it's, it's kind of scooted away. That plugs in, and I've got a little USB light bulb over here. So yeah, there's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, I use this also for tracking my vehicle. So you can plug in a little GPS tracker, and it will forever run off of solar panel power. Solar power panel power. Um, oh yes, so let's see. Uh, so for something more useful than just lighting or charging your cell phone is this thing is also able to uh, convert over via an inverter. So right down here, we'll follow these wires. So we've got positive coming off the positive and negative coming off negative. And those two wires are going down to feed the inverter back here. So basically I just took a car inverter that you'd plug in to your um, cigarette lighter and I just cut the wires off and I wired them directly in to the battery itself. So this is not going through the solar charge um, controller. It is simply going directly to the battery. And then all I have to do is just turn it on and now I can do I can charge my batteries off of it. So any one of these chargers, I can just hook up to it and it will charge battery. Now you do have to do a little bit of math for that because this is a 35 amp hour battery here. 
and it's at 12 volts. So if I'm doing a 20 volt battery, which is a nominal 18 volts, um, and say it's a five amp hour battery, well, a five amp hour 20 volt battery is about 100 watts, you know, five times 20, about 100 watts. And uh, so 12 volts times 35 amp hours means it's roughly mm, about 370, I think, about 370 watts. So if I'm using 100 watts, I'm using about a third of the battery to, of a third of this battery to charge one 5 amp hour battery, which is about all you'd want to do. You don't really want to take it below 66%. Um, so yeah, you do have to think about how much you're wanting to charge, and hopefully my math is correct on that. I think it's close to that. You do need to uh, think about that depending on what you're wanting to charge. Like if I hooked up my power bank here with five or with four five amp hour batteries on it and we're charging all of them all at the same time, this little battery here is not going to be able to handle that. I would need to hook up some more batteries to give it uh, more power to be able to do that. Or not more power, but more, more charge capacity. Um, I would just basically need it to be a bunch of 12 volt batteries all hooked up so that I'd have say, you know, 70 plus amp hours. And you can do that. Um, in my trailer though, I rarely need to charge a battery. I've got quite a few in standby, but occasionally I'll need that one battery recharged. Um, and so this is one way you can do that. All right, now let's go out and look at the solar panel. And here she be. Uh, it's kind of windy out here, so sorry if you're getting some air in the speaker. All right, so this is just a 50 watt panel. I find that's pretty much all that I need because it's such a small battery. I used to have a 100 watt panel as outlined by the adhesive, but since the adhesive uh, tore off with the panel while I was driving and blew off to who knows where, uh, I just decided to replace it with this 50 watt. So it's got these little quick connectors, just plug in and uh, just drill the hole through my roof and then put some elastomeric caulking around it and that has been nice and watertight. No problems with any kind of leaking using the right kind of sealant. So yeah, just screwed at four corners and that just sits there like so. All right, well, enough fun. Remember guys, safety first. Alrighty, so ugh, very happy to have this back up and running. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's not super difficult, not super complicated, and it doesn't have to look pretty to get something that's functional for you to work with. All right guys, I will check you later.